sure that it is actually a hand that we are detecting before sending the command. So otherwise, it will be very weird when it goes to PyCharm, uh, when it goes to Unity. Okay, so this is good. And then all we have to do is we have to write the line. So this is to get the frame from the webcam. And then we can write here that we want to get the hands. So we are simply going to write detector, detector dot find hands, and it will give us all the hands present in this image, and it will return us with the hands alongside the image as well. So that's the main idea. And then we are going to, okay, let's just test it for now. And later on, we will go to the next step. Oh yeah, so media pipe is not imported because CV zone uses media pipe for hand tracking. So we need to install that too. So we'll go to file settings and we will go to Python interpreter in our project and we will click add and we will write here media pipe and we are going to install that. So this will allow us to uh, run our hand tracking module. Okay, so now the installation is done, so we can press run again, and hopefully this time it will work. And there you go. So here you can see my hand, we can move around, and that is pretty good. Okay, so next what we are going to do, we are going to prepare our data to send it to um, Unity. So what exactly are we going to send? We are going to send the landmark list. So there are a total of 21 landmarks that we need to send. And each landmark will have three values, the X, Y, and the Z. So these are our landmark values. Landmark values, they are basically this, multiplied by, we will multiply this by 21. So that's the total number of uh, values that we have. So what we are going to do, that accounts to 63 in total. So we are going to send all these 63 values, but we want to send it in a single list because it will be easier for us to decode when we go to our Unity script. It will make it easier for us. So how can we do this? Let's just check what actually happens by default when we ask for the landmark list. So here we are going to write if hands. So if hands are detected, then we are going to get our first hand. So we'll write here, get the first hand detected. And then we are going to write here hand equals hands at zero. So this will give us the first hand. Then we are going to write get the landmark list. So here, how do you get the landmark list? You write lm list equals hand. And in the hand, uh, this is basically a dictionary. So we can just write lm list and it will give us a complete list of our landmarks. So we can simply print that out. So let's just write lm list here and let's go ahead and run it. So if I bring in my hand at the back, you can see we have these landmarks. So this is landmark number one, this is landmark number two, three, four, and so on. So all of these are basically our landmarks. This is X, this is Y, this is Z. So what we need to do is we need to remove these brackets. So these brackets we want to remove and uh, we want all of them to be in the same list. So one single list. So how can we do that? It's very simple. We create a for loop. So we will write for landmark in our landmark list. We are going to loop through all of them. And then we are going to create a data. So before we start doing any of this, we are going to create an empty data that we are going to send at the end. So each time it will refresh, so it's good. Otherwise it will keep adding to the previous data, which is not what we want. Uh, so don't declare it outside. Otherwise it will keep adding. We don't want that. We want to re reset it every iteration. So uh, once we have our data empty list, what we will do is 
normally when we have a list we append to the value so whenever i want to add a value i will write data dot append so this case what it will do is it will do the same thing it will make a separate bracket it will make a separate list and append it each time but as i mentioned this is not what we want we want it in a single line so instead of append we are going to write extend so it will keep extending those values rather than appending them so that is what we want why is this running we need to stop that <laughs> okay so what we need to do we need to add our bracket and then uh, we are not simply writing lm here because we have one value that we need to change which value are we talking about it's the y so in opencv this is our window the 00, zero origin starts from here so our zero is over here and the maximum is over here but in unity it's the opposite the zero starts from here and the maximum is here so what we need to do is we need to reverse the y direction so that it is correct when we send it so what you want to do is you want to process whatever problems are in python you want to process them there and then you want to send clean data to your unity project now you can do that in unity as well but it is again as i mentioned you should complete one process and send it so that you don't have to worry about that again so this way it's it makes it easier to deal with all these different um, scripts so what we need to do here we will write that first of all it should be a bracket so we are giving it a list you cannot give it a variable so you have to give it a list that you want to extend and in this list we have to give in the first value then we will give in the second value then we will give in the third value now we will simply subtract our height from here so height minus the y value but we don't know what the height is uh, we defined it here but we didn't actually uh, put it in a variable so what we can do is we can write here parameters and in the parameters we can write width and height equals so we can write 1280 and 720 and instead of writing it manually over here we can copy and paste so we need the height so we will just say height minus our lm1 so that will give us uh, the opposite value okay so this is pretty much ready so what we can do is we can print this out so we can print uh, data so now you will see the difference between the lm list and the data that's why i have not removed it yet completely so you will see it here so if i bring in my hand then you can see the first one is the lm list and the second one is the data there you go and now you can see